What if I told you that the ammo cook-off explosions in War Thunder are way less violent than they would be in real life? Today, we're going to find out what would happen if Gaijin made those explosions truly realistic, and how that could completely change the game. First, you need to understand just how devastating an ammo cook-off can be. Let's take a real case. During Operation Granby in 1991, two Centurion Avre tanks exploded after catching fire. Both were almost fully loaded, packed with ammunition, explosives, and even 800 liters of petrol. When they went off, the combined explosion was estimated at well over one ton of explosives. The Centurion Avre could carry 53 rounds of 165 millimeter Hesh shells, each containing about 20 kilograms of TNT equivalent. That's roughly 1.1 tons of TNT just from the shells alone. And if we include its 546 liters of diesel fuel, weighing around 460 kilograms, and assume a small 5% contribution from the fuel, we end up with a total of about 1.3 tons of TNT equivalent. That's roughly half the destructive energy of a 3,000 kilogram Soviet bomb, enough to completely annihilate any tank, vehicle, or crew within a 50 meter radius. When I tested that same bomb in-game, the crater measured about 16.5 meters across, wide enough to fit five T-44 tanks side by side. That's the kind of power we're talking about here. Now, how does War Thunder actually handle ammo cook-offs? Currently, there are three animation types. Slow cook-off, rounds ignite gradually. The turret may or may not pop off. Quick cook-off, a faster chain reaction, similar but more intense. Full cook-off, the most dramatic one, where the tank's hull disintegrates, leaving only the turret behind. In-game, though, these are mostly visual effects, not true physical blasts. Since players rarely stand close enough to be caught in an ammo explosion's radius, most of the time they won't even notice, especially if they're inside heavy tanks. However, light vehicles can be completely destroyed if they're too close. But imagine if War Thunder actually calculated each vehicle's TNT equivalent and scaled the explosions according to the cook-off animation, say 20%, 50%, or 100% of its full potential. That system would make blast effects, overpressure, and collateral damage feel far more realistic, and honestly, a lot more terrifying. 